Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't heard, Lens Island has got a new massive update, Uncharted Waters, which changes the entire game altogether. So let's get into the new game. Alright, how do we want our guy to look? Um, let's see. It can be an island boy. Let's go with island boy. Masculine. Definitely not. Is there any other way to pick? Besides, definitely not. Let's go... We're basically just going to mimic ourselves. I do like... I think my favorite look is... I like the, I, I like the jacket. I like that. That's, it's very slick. Um, ooh, I can channel our inner Steve Jobs with a turtleneck. And now, there we go. Look at us. Beautiful. Your once safe home was destroyed by the voids. The mysteries of the darkness that drives them is yet to be uncovered. No one understands its power or where it came from. You are ferried to the forgotten islands where the lighthouse rush began, hoping to build a new life. All right, let's get started. All right, so we got a little uh, chest where we can manage our stuff, but let's just go get some resources. I'm going to basically... Oh, well, we know about crits. This isn't our, is our first Lynn Rodeo. Get some clay, of course. I do like how they put a little... Uh, there's a tutorial in the top right of the screen. Because I know some players are starting off and they're just like, I don't know what to do. And honestly, when I first, first, first played this last year, I kind of thought the same thing too. I was like, obviously, like, I can gather stuff. And I'm like, well, what is my... Like, what, what, like, what am I doing? So that's gonna help people get started. Um, let's I'll get some stone and then oh, what do we have over here? I did just do a video, um, ten things to do first. So I'll ba so if you watch that, I'll probably be basically doing that exact, uh, following that exact same pattern, with minor deviances. Oh, here we go. Town center. Oh, nice. Machine parts. Good old Bridgewater. Run down. Unfortunately. But we will restore it. Need to get that backpack upgrade stat. What's up, Mayor? What is this place? Ooh, the void creatures. I will avenge the town of Bridgewater. This is kind of important too to get to be able to uh, get these villagers. So we're gonna try to do that as quickly as possible. Um, okay, so here's our island. Let's let's go. Let's go do some exploring. We can build a house later. Oh, look at these crabs. I love the I love the little crabs. Hi. I would love to at some point be able to like I don't know, like have my own personal crabs. Like build the crabs of them. I think that would be top tier lens island. You can build the crabs a little home. Or like have them as pets or something cool like that. Even though there is something freeing just seeing the little crabs just kind of living on their own, unharmed and unbothered by, undisturbed by humans. Oh, no bees, 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 bees! Not the bees! Oh, get the hell out of there. Even though I'm not sure how I feel about out the gate dropping 80 wood just to do that. I feel like I need to maybe even prioritize building a home first. Eh, uh, let's do it. Screw it. Aha! Our first keystone. I love that animation. I hope at some point I'm... Oh, look. Oh, look at all those fishies. 
I hope at some point they were able to like interact with this lighthouse. I feel like they could do like something really cool with that. All right, so for the most part, so the other two keystones, one's gonna be over here, and then one is over there. So once we get those going, though, we're definitely gonna want to at least get a farm going because we're gonna, as you explore the caves, you're gonna absolutely need food, or you will die. Which is, you could really say that about anything, about anything in life, though. You really, you need food. To, you need to eat food, or you will die. Clay is a really great resource because it's uh, basically what you use to craft, uh, the, you know, the, your roofing, any, any of that, any of that type, and decorations too. So we're gonna build our our Lynn a luxurious house. Oh, nice. All right, so we're 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 we're, we're, getting, we're getting good. We're getting good. Uh, pumpkins, yes. Love it. Oh, we got seeds too. That's clutch. Ah, uh, back void beast. God. I have to say, I absolutely love the new soundtrack. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Weapon tier too low. Interesting. Guess we need to upgrade our, uh, our handy dandy starter axe to be able to cut that big boy down. It is a beast. I almost want to build a house in the dark forest because I love the aesthetics of the dark forest. I want to like be able to role play as like a crotchety old Lin that it's like a like a witch or a warlock or something. It just hides out. It just hides out on his island in the dark forest and does weird necromancy. Revives the dead. I don't foresee them adding that, but that would be a pretty, like, cool thing. Because it is, like, kind of, you know, Diablo-esque. Um, so being able to have, like, some level of necromancy, like the necromancer in Diablo, would be sick. Or, like, maybe, like, some Lin variation where you, like, can communicate with the void creatures and you can, like, like have your own void creature pet or can, like, resurrect... Or create void creatures. Well, that, that would definitely just make you the bad guy. If you're creating void creatures, you're the bad guy. <laughs> but is it bad if you create the void creatures to fight the void creatures? We'll never know. I would still think that that's probably not a good idea. Got plenty of mushrooms. More coal. Love it. Love to see it. And here she is. Level up. Two down. Two down, one to go. Here we are. First extendo belt. I gotta figure out what path I'm gonna take. I, I think I'm going to rush to this, to the extended belt plus two. Um, and then after that, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Mm, that's kind of nice, actually. I don't, I, I feel like I'm pretty good at the combat. So I'm I'm thinking not worry about. Hmm. We'll figure that out later. I kind of want to build. I actually literally want to build it like right here. All right. Before we go, I'm gonna build us a quick temporary home so that we're not working in the dark. Cause that's never fun. Oh no. If you're ever in a pinch. I'll show you the uh, home design that you can go with that will help you out because you can just quick. You can just... Oh no! I feel low key bad. I just destroyed that bird. This flew out. That 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 was actually pretty cool though. That's I think that's actually new. Um, but I felt I, I feel bad kicking out the the bird. Oh, we're not. This isn't our first home, pal. So yeah, you can do basically this, and then slap a ceiling and that is technically um constitutes as a house so you can throw down a bed and boom sleep and that's a cheap way to uh 
build your first home. All right, well, let's... All right, so now that we've done that... Okay, so let's try this. Yeah, this... I, I love the idea of being able to build this, like, off the cliffside like this. It'll be like a, it'll be a cool but small starter home, and then later on when we get to like a you know a, like a Mediterranean island like a dark forest island we'll build. Oh, another birdie! My bad. I'm sorry. I like it. Hopefully those trees don't grow back because then it would just totally obstruct. <laughs> it would totally break what I'm trying to do right now. All right, so we got I'm gonna have the entrance be right here. I, I have to say, I, like out of all the base building or like home building style games, I really love how Lens Island is. It just feels really good. I think I'm gonna do. This, uh, let me think about this. I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna do stone. It might be a little bit more costly, but all right. And then we're gonna have a door here, a large window here, and go back to wood. We're gonna throw in some railings. Go back to stone. I'm just gonna do a basic stone. Basic stone wall here. I'm gonna put a window right there, just so the villagers can, you know, come by whenever my lens sleeping and. Uh, Peek in on me. I think I'm gonna also put one of these right here too. I think it'll look. I, th I, th I think that looks nice. Let's see what we got. Now we just gotta slap a roof on this bad boy, and we'll be good to go. Could slap it like this, and then oh my god, am I out of stone again? Of course. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. This technically is a home. We're gonna just keep kind of, keep progressing. Actually, you know what? Let's just finish the tutorial. I think I have enough supplies. Oh, no, I don't. Let's get this real quick. Swing and a miss. All right, so I'm gonna slap this down on this wall right here. We did it. You know, for a starter home, this is actually Really nice. I love it. Oh, here we go. This is nice. Um, yeah, farm. We need to get a farm going. How much shards? Four. Okay. That's enough to, build, to craft a couple items. Ah, here's the ancient caves. Yeah, so there's the, the last one's over here. And then we can access the ancient caves. All right. We're going to do some quick resource gathering and... I love it. Um, and then sleep. And then we'll head over there and we'll, and we'll finish out. And we'll gain, we'll, we'll gain access to the caves. This might either look really, like, cool or really stupid. Like, almost consider this kind of like a... Alright, let's just sleep right now. Um, almost gonna... I'm, I'm gonna craft like a... Almost like a bell tower, sort of. We just need... So, seeds. Seeds, please. Nothing. Nothing. But well, once we get, um, I think, yeah, Steph, we can sell these flowers to her and we can hopefully then use that money to buy the next backpack upgrade. Because that's kind of like a must, or a, a, a quick must. 
Especially once we start traveling. The final keystone. And a pear tree. Oh. Timber. Dungeon unlocked. Let go. Damn, okay, well. Um, you know, while I'm at it, I might as well, because I think you need a decent amount of fibers to um, advance the town level. Let's just swing by there on our way back. So the good thing is, you probably have noticed now that I have not eaten food in a while. The good thing is, is that you don't have to continue, like, if you're... Um, your health bar will stay at 50 when you have when you're hungry. So I'm just waiting to eat before we go into the caves because that's what I'm gonna eat it the most. All right, let's see what we need to advance the town. Ooh, 100 wood. Okay, 100 wood and 100 stone. Yeah, <laughs> we're we're gonna hold off on that then. Hey, there we go. <clears throat> you know what I actually might do? I might do one of, use one of these. Oh no, that's not gonna look good. Either this. Yeah, let's actually let me think about this. I kind of want to do this. How does this look? Comparatively, I actually really like this. And then we can slap this guy there. Okay, that looks pretty sick. I actually really like this. Check her out. This is actually a nice. This is a nice starter home. It's compact, but it just looks fantastic. I mean, look at this. All right, well, let's, let's slap down a couple decorations. Maybe like a chair. An outside chair so we can relax and look at pretty stuff. Let's throw down a couple candles. Bingo. Then let's come inside and kind of do the same thing. Um, let's do, um, you know, while I'm at it, I'm going to put, like, a partition here. And a little more decor. Let's put a little, uh, bedside table. Whoops. With some light reading. We'll probably need a candle too, right? Just to light our way. And we'll definitely need a rug to wipe our feet off when we enter our beautiful home. And look at this! She's looking fantastic. We have one pair. You know what I'm gonna do? I, I kind of like... I hate to do this because I like them there, but I'll, I'll, I'll put them back. Don't don't fret. Don't fret. But I do want to go ahead and get a, a watering can crafted because I don't want to, like, not have... All right. Oh, the watering can is empty, of course. Not anymore. There we go. All right, so we got that rolling. Let's, it's cabin time. All right, so let's make sure that we've got everything that we need. We got that, we probably lose that for now. I'm gonna go ahead and toss, we got pumpkin, that's good. I'm gonna toss pumpkins as well as that. And then we are gonna eat a pumpkin. Actually, I'm just gonna eat blueberries, screw it. I have so many blueberries. Alright. Good on hunger. Let us do some cave diving. 
Open sesame. Hey yo. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's uh, let's do this. Oh, wait, let's uh, gather these coins first for sure. Three coins. We're rich. Actually, since okay, okay, this is this is what we're, this is what we're gonna do. This should be okay. We got four iron shards. Before I even like continue this, I'm gonna run back, craft a new weapon, um, and th that'll help us a lot more. And then we'll come right back. Since we're able to able to get iron shards, because I can probably honestly get through this cave in one like go. That's how good I am at combat. All right, let's do this. Oh nope nope nope. All right, craft that puppy. Goodbye, Bowie Knife. And hello, Sword of Death. That's what I've named him. And we are going to vanquish our foes. And we'll just use the force to figure out where we need to go because it is dark as hell and we don't have a torch. Probably could have crafted one. But I'm too lazy. And I don't want to spend the resources. Vile beast. Look at those crits. I told you. I'm the real deal. Death to all the void creatures. Alright, let's... Okay, so... Light him up, baby. So I can see where I'm going. Oh, this is going to be tough. There's double of them. But not too tough for me. The boat in the great because I am great. Wait. Oh, almost missed it. Oh, oh, wow. You just got Mario'd. Oh, yeah, I am. Wow, that's funny I said that because I literally just maxed out. All right, so how much wood do I have? I have 28 wood. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually, I know that's that I'm, that I'm gonna clear the cave, but I'm gonna go ahead and just leave right now and go harvest wood, upgrade the town, then come back in and finish everything out. It shouldn't take me very long. I just need to harvest a bunch of wood. I, I, where, the hell am I, where the hell am I going? Oh yeah, this is okay. I was like, I am lost in a cave filled with void creatures. Not the best place to be lost. I know it's not the best use of coal, but I, like I said, I love just lighting everything up. Because I, I feel like that I'm like also rebuilding the caves because then people are going to be like okay uh, the the citizens you know after i destroy the void beast or people are going to be like well we need to be able to see in the caves again if we're going to go down there and you know revitalize the city all right so we're full of wood this is good this is great this is great news and i can't see shit um, because i okay at least, at least we can do this now All right, let's. I'm, I'm gonna build uh, these little candles to light our way. There we go. I look forward to being able to interact with furniture one day. Hopefully, they incorporate that because I'd love to just chill out, sit down. All right, we're sleeping. Booyah! Perfect. Oh, man. Is that hardwood, I guess? Damn, okay, well. Let's go talk to them at the end. Howdy, Kevin. Howdy, Steph. Or hello, Steph. Oh, right, yeah, so back into the caves and finish that, and then we'll build the villager a home. And they'll be eternally grateful. And if they're not grateful, then we will just destroy their home for them. Or give them a really shitty home. There we go. Let's go. Okay. So now we can uh, we can unlock the heavy block. 
Which is good, because we don't even have a shield. <laughs> but it just gets us one step closer to the Extendo Belt. Extendo Belt. And we are not sleeping on gold. How the hell do we get up there? Yeah, this is where having a torch would uh, come in handy. I'm just going in blind. Nice. One step closer to that bag upgrade. That one's done, and then we'll move on to this one, and then we will light this puppy up and uh, heal ourselves before we enter the belly of the beast. All right, let's Leroy Jenkins this. Oh, I can. Oh, oh wow, that was actually I was able to. I managed to dodge them. Oh. That projectile attack. Oh, God. Just got to keep do dodging. Dive. Duck. Okay. Ooh, that was close. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, my God. We're not good. I just took, oh, like way. Oh, that was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. Okay. We're good. Just keep running from the big boys. They are not here to play. Okay. That's two down. We just have this. And there we go. We're good. Play it safe, play it safe. Don't do anything too wacky. All right, we're good, we're good. Oh no, we're, that was not a good move. Oh God. Die! He's gonna face tank him. Are we good? Okay, we're fine. Last one. Death. We won, we did it. All without a shield as well. Good lord, I am going to... Oh my, wait, am I out? Oh, no, 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 I'm not. Okay, I was like, holy smokes. Who do we have here? What's up, pal? Jared the blacksmith. Hello. Hello. I've been trapped on here for weeks. You've cleared out all the Voidlands. Thank you. They are nasty creatures. Now the coast is clear, I can quickly escape back to Bridgewater. If you can help me build a house, I'll set up my blacksmith shop in Bridgewater. I'll even give you a great deal on your first purchase. Sounds like a deal, Jared. Oh, nice. Now we're like less than halfway through, or halfway to get, uh, be able to buy the backpack upgrade. An old note says, The caves are overrun, and I'm not sure if I'll last the night. The void beasts are everywhere. There's no escape. It's almost like a zombie apocalypse. Except for not really. Love it. Oh, wait. Do I have enough? Now? I think I did. Hell yes. Oh, nice. So you can get, you can actually have a chance to gain um, more seeds. That's cool. I'm going to go ahead and just upgrade all my tools. I, I kind of desperately need to do that. So we're good there. Let's replace this. Finally. It does a bit more damage too, which is nice. Actually, a lot more damage. I should have done this way long ago. So I guess they removed the uh, the resources gained from critical hits. Which I'm honestly not sure how I feel about that. Because I really did like that feature. I guess it does make things a little bit more balanced, which I get. I think it's I think it was just 50 coins, right? Yes! Let's go. All right, so now I can kill, yeah, I carry 200, which is pretty clutch. So let's, you know, where's the blacksmith? Is the blacksmith in here? Aha, howdy there, partner. Hello, Jared. What's cracking? So you need a bed and building. Here's the different villagers. Oh, weapon crafting, resources, salvage metal. Sweet. Okay, let's do this. I'm definitely going to go stone for him. This is going to be a bit grindy. Just considering that he's a blacksmith. I'm going to do similar to my home. My home. Wood floors and... Stone... Um, walls. Okay. This is going to make me... Really deplete all of my resources, but oh well. Anything for my my buddy old pal Jared. 
I'm gonna put this there. And we'll No, I'll just do I'll, I'll do a regular wall. Just because we have that right there. And then on this side I'll put that there. Yeah, we'll do that. And then a regular wall. And put a window here. Here. I'm gonna put a window there. And then just close that off. And on the back side, though, I am going to do... I think I'm going to do... I'll just do a, a circular one. And we'll close it off. Boom. And now we're out of stone. <laughs> the things I do for my villagers. I know, I'm a swell guy. Nice. Got seeds and a level up. That's pretty clutch. Let's see. I don't... Oh, I can. I can. Hell yeah. Let's go. That's clutch. Okay, so now, now I'm gonna have to like do some studying and really think about what I want to upgrade next. I would love to get some flower seeds. I haven't gotten any flower seeds yet. Oh, I got flower seeds too. I see. I'm telling you, you just gotta will it, will it into existence. Positive mindset yields positive results. Alrighty. Oh god, I'm so excited to start exploring though. It's like I'm like I'm being torn between so many different like cool things and with the new update, I'm like part of me is like I just I want to build like a cool ass house and like build up the town and do all this and then the other part of me is wanting to just explore like literally 100% the map and just see what all cool ass islands are out there. So I'm just like so conflicted and I'm, and then and then all the while I'm like fuck, but I need resources. All right, we almost are probably really good on stone to complete both. And I'm thinking in my in my head what my plan is. Um, I'm gonna do stone for the blacksmith because you, uh, you know to me like stone like a stone house, stone building, and a blacksmith are synonymous because of the very reason that blacksmiths work with fire. So a wood house would not really be that conducive because it would catch on fire potentially and burn down, which is never fun. Um, and then for Steph, I'm gonna do a wood house because you know she's kind of your more like you know nature kind of vibe because she sells she's a forest. Um, so I think it's it's fitting to have her have a wood house. All right, I'm gonna run to the his house nap. And then we'll be back. Our new, our, our repaired bridge. That's that's definitely clutch, considering. Oh whoa 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 whoa! What the heck? Who the? Omar. Oh what the? Oh wow. Okay, this is cool. Uh, love that. Oh, so you can just buy things. Well, that's expensive. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we definitely... I love these. Oh, well, okay. Cool, 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 cool. I love that. So you can... Yeah, so this kind of just reinforces the idea that we definitely need to get some uh, some revenue coming in. You know what I'll do? I'm going to actually build a second level. I'm going to it's, it's going to be a smaller level though. So we got that there. I'm going to build this is going to be like Or should I do this? <clears throat> and then we'll come up here. And this is like where his um, spot will be. Actually, shit. I'm going to change these. I don't want that like that. Yeah, there we go. So that'll act like as a natural wall. So I don't have to like put anything like an actual wall there all right and then we'll do put this 
like this. That like this. Um, we need some railing down because per code, code standard says that you can't have uh, unprotected, you know, because you'll fall and die, which we don't want, obviously. All right, so then I'm going to put a little, um, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Stone balcony. That and a little of that. And yeah, shit. Okay, so then um, we'll throw down a bed for him to sleep in as well. So bed's there. Um, I'm not going to decorate for now just because it's so resource intensive. And I will come here. Do I want, I think I might just do like a little, just cap it out like this. Let's see, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it looks though. When it's all said and done. All right, let's, let's take a peek. Eh, I don't know how I feel about this. Looks too kind of, I'm gonna change up this. I think I'm gonna actually go with a little bit different. I think I'm gonna go with just a, maybe a flat roof here. Or actually, no, I'm gonna do. Did that look weird? Yeah, kinda, I think so. Alright, I'm gonna go with. I wish. That, so, one thing that I wish that they had was a roof that was like half of this slope. So it wasn't so steep of a slope. So you can kind of... Oh, it was like a cross between stone flat and... Alright, let's try this. Let's do this now. It's going to be a little bit more costly just because I, I, I will have to put in a wall now. Um, but I just think it it need Like, we need to break up the design. Oh, maybe I'll do... Oh, I actually kind of like this idea. Just totally like open like that. How does this how does this look now? I like it. I kinda like it. Perfect. Okay. Then I'm gonna come I'm gonna do a a, a touch, a touch of decorating. Um, we're gonna throw this down, and then here we go. So let's we'll put a table like here with a little with a plant on it, and a bookshelf in this corner here. chair and I'll put some uh, some books some some light reading and uh, let's look at I do like this these half walls here so I'm gonna put a half wall right there and we'll get a little small a little rug. For when you walk in, you can you can you can wipe your feet off. All right, so that's I'm I'm gonna call that good for now. If when as I get more decorations, I'll unlock it. But let's move him in. Goodness gracious! Here we go. Jared, welcome to the club. Talented blacksmith. All right, let's go. Let's move on to steps. You know what I'm thinking about doing? I'm thinking about making um her. Like a more fun, like a almost like a treehouse design. All right, so obviously we have this. Um, all 
Yeah, so, so, so let's do the... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna definitely try something new. A very, like, in, more interesting design. So the bottom levels, I'm gonna almost treat like... Alright, so that's gonna be like this. So you walk up, come up the steps, and then you're met with... Boom. This. And this is like the first level. And because she has flowers, or because she sells uh, flowers, we're going to give her kind of an, a more open concept. So this level is going to be... Oh, shh. Sh I knew it. I knew there was going to become a, time, a point in time where I ran out of glass entirely. But my plan, though, is to make this level all open. Like, um, all glass. It's like large glass. So that it has plenty of uh, like you know natural light, and then we'll come up another level, and then we'll have platforms and all right, yeah. So we'll do this, and then we'll have another level. This this will be like the top level. This, this will be the top level, and that'll kind of close that out. You know, I guess what we could do for the time being, since we wanted to keep it open air, open concept, is that we could. Instead of just doing large glass windows, we could just put in ra like railing, and then slowly replace them as we go. Oh yeah, fun fact: you can actually recycle this, so you can get some supplies back. This used to be the old, um, the old bridge, the the old way into Bridgewater. I think what I'll do for right this moment is just throw. Um, I'll build one more thing of glass, and we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll just put like around the stairwell, and then everything else I'll put rails. Everywhere else I'll put rails, and then we'll just cap off the roof. Throw in a bed, and we'll, we'll th this one. Ooh, okay. Hello, Mr. Blacksmith. I need to sharpen. What do I? Where's his discount? An iron. Oh, nice. I like it. Let's do it. Ha ha. Look at this beast of an axe. I'm like a, I'm like Gimli. Alrighty, so we got this level. Um, like I said, I'm just going to put this there. And then the rest of everything, I'll just put rails. Because it's, it's, I don't even know where I just put that. Oh. This will all just be open, so you can kind of come and go freely. Uh, that, and then we've got level up here. And I think up here I'll just do like a normal. I'm going to eventually come back and throw um, like these clear, just so it's clear all the way up. But then up here I'm going to... Oh, no. I am going to have to come back and do something different because I'm out of glass. So I'll just do this. Whoops. I'll just put in like normal wood walls for now just to kind of finish this off. Um, but I will. I will come back and finish this. Oh, perfect. You know, I don't, I don't hate the just the the plain rails though. I think it looks, that plus that looks, it looks kind of nice actually. All right, so let's put it, let's throw in some decorations now. A um, little bit of this. There. With some. Nope. Obviously, we're going to have a lot of plants in this puppy's house. Ideally, I'm going to come back later and kind of, like, you know, replace with... with better plants. Oh, I guess, you know, I wonder. I could build her, like, little, like, farms with... I'm going to have to do that later, though. I don't have that blueprint unlocked yet. Let's toss that there for a little decor. A little light. 
then at the bottom, I'll just put like a table. There's no thieves in the in, in the, 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 there's everyone in Bridgewater is trustworthy. So they're not gonna we don't have to worry about thieves. Throw a book down, and then we want to light at the bottom level as well. And yes. Steph gets her own home. Excuse me, Mr. Mailbox. Thanks for building me a home. After I'm finished moving in, you can find me at my flower shop. Ooh. Almost lopped her head off. All right, so let's look at let's 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 check it out now. Yeah, I mean it's a more unique design. One thing that I'm gonna do that I just noticed that's bothering me is that these corners have zero supports, and they're gonna need some pretty gnarly uh, supports. But I, I think overall, that's like a it's one of more, the more unique designs that I've done. It's not just a cookie cutter like box. What? Oh shit! I have to move her. Out. Oh no! <laughs> well, that's just gonna be is is what it is. So I'll I'll move her out and move her back in at some point in time, and we'll just. And we'll, we'll fix it and make it look a little bit better. Until then. Now it is time to construct. We're going to upgrade our workbench and then construct our first raft. And we'll be hitting the seas.